Hi dear friends, how are you all? Welcome to our YouTube channel HR Tutorials India. In this video, we will be going to talk about a simple yet vital tool for every organization. That is, how to make attendance sheet or attendance register. Attendance sheet or register. Let's understand what exactly attendance sheet or register is. An attendance register is more than just a record of who's present or absent. It is a key document that tracks employees' working hours, presence, and leaves. It plays a crucial role in ensuring the compliance with labor laws, acts as the foundation for accurate payroll processing, and also helps in performance reviews and maintains disciplines within the workplace. But here is the best part. You don't need any expensive software to maintain one. In this video, we will show how to create and manage an attendance register practically using an excel sheet we will go step by step making it simple and easy to understand so if you are ready to streamline your attendance management let's get started why is an attendance register important before understanding how to create attendance register let us understand what exactly the importance of an attendance register is an attendance register is so crucial for organizations. It is not just about making who's present or absent. It is much broader impact on how a workplace functions effectively. Here are some key reasons. Accurate record keeping. An attendance register helps in maintaining a clear and organized record of employees' attendance, working hours and absences. It ensures there is no confusion in discrepancy when reviewing employees' data, making it an essential tool for smooth operations. Payroll Processing When it comes to payroll, accuracy is everything. An attendance register ensures that salaries are calculated correctly based on the employee's attendance and working hours. This minimizes errors and builds trust among employees. Legal Compliance Many labor laws require organizations to maintain proper attendance records. Having an accurate attendance register keeps your company compliant with the regulations and avoids potential legal issues. Performance Monitoring Tracking attendance trends can give you variable insights into employees' productivity. Frequent absence or late arrivals can highlight issues that might need addressing. Ensure better performance and workplace discipline. Now that you have understood why an attendance register is so important, let's move forward and understand the key components of an attendance register. Key Components of an Attendance Register Now let's break down the key components of an attendance register. These elements are essential for making the register detailed, organized and effective. Here are what every attendance register should include. Employee Details Start with the basics. The name of the employees, their unique IDs and their designations. This ensures each record is linked to the right individual avoiding any confusion. Dates Include columns for each day of the month. This allows you to record attendance daily and gives you a clear month-wise overview of employees' presence and absence. Attendance status. Use simple codes like P for present, A for absent, and L for leave, and H for holiday. These codes make it easy to understand the status at a glance and keep the register concise. Working hours. Track the in time and out time and total hours worked each day. This is especially useful for the calculating the overtime or ensuring employees meet their required working hours. Leave balance. Keep a section to track how much leave an employee has used and how much remains. This makes it easier to manage leave requests and ensures transparency. With these components in place, your attendance register becomes a powerful tool for tracking and managing employee daily attendance efficiently. Practical Demonstration Let's now dive into the practical aspects of creating and managing an attendance register using Excel. Here are the key steps to get you started. Formatting the sheet In this practical demonstration, we'll understand how to format the Excel sheet, then inputting the sample data, then applying formulas for total counts, and then tips for ensuring accuracy and efficiency. So wasting no time, let's get into, into the practical part of preparing or making an attendance register or attendance sheet. For this, we will open an Excel sheet and we'll create a attendance sheet or register practically. So friends, as I've said that we'll be creating an attendance sheet or register with using an Excel sheet. Here, I have opened a, an Excel sheet and I'll show you how to create an attendance sheet or register. First, I'll be writing the company name. Here, I'm selecting four fields and I'm merging it and writing the company name as ABC, Company Private Limited. Then I'm selecting two fields and merging and I'm writing the month and then merging and making it. I'm here creating the attendance for the month of November. So I entered November and here I'm entering the year. For which year the attendance is getting created. So the year is 2024. 
then let's create the serial number then names of employee then designation then date of joining so i have created these details here i am merging and making it a little bigger for so that all the names are displayed over here then here i am creating i'm here merging all the fields and writing as employee attendance sheet for the november month 2024 after creating let's enter the fields here i'm entering the fields as serial number 1 2 and to continue we can just drag it once you drag it you will be having the serial number from 1 till 17 so i am here entering the data for 17 employees as sample data here i need to enter the name of the employee i'm just giving the name of the employees sample and you can just enter it as per your employee register then here you need to enter the designation of the employees i have entered all the details as sample then here you need to enter the date of joining once these fields are completed then we'll go to to the next field here you can just make the alignment as center alignment and make it bold here also you can just make it bold and you can select all the fields and go for grids wherein the borders will be mentioned so you need to click on all borders so it will be looking decent and you can just select all the numbers and make it center aligned even the date of joining you can decrease the size as per your convenience once this is done you can just select this attendance register name and bolt it and go for border marking here you can increase the size of the name and make it center aligned and now you want to enter the days in the month of november so in the month of november we have 30 days here in the first field you need to enter one and in the second field you need to click equal to then you need to select the before field plus one so it will be increased from one to two and you need to select two and drag it till 30 as there are 30 days in the month of november you can delete the extra and keep till 30th now you can select this fields from 1 to 30 and as you want to make the place adjustment you can click here and drag it closer because you need to make all the dates to be visible in the same sheet here you can see that all the dates are visible in the same sheet okay so here the dates are completed now here we need to check out which date is first of november here you can just drag it till here and click on merge button then it will be merged here you need to enter the date first of november was on first friday as first it's coming as friday you need to enter fry instead of making full date I have entered only fri so that the space is sufficient after that you need to click here and drag it till 30th here you can see that automatically the dates are arranged like friday saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and it's continuing till 30th of november here if you want to make the alignment change you can just click on you can select all these fields and click on format cell here you need to go to alignment and you need to click the text to vertical 90 degrees and click on ok here you can see that the alignment has changed for a better view now once it's done you can just select these fields and click on border all borders so all borders are highlighted now you can just add some colors to this for making it more visible and you can just select all these fields and click on color button and put it as yellow as you can see every company has their own week offs here i'm taking the week offs only for the day of sunday company has the week off for saturday and sunday you can just select it as both the days as week off so here i'm selecting only sunday as week off once this is done i'll show you one thing wherein it will be easy for you to drag and fix a few fields so to fix few fields you can just select it over here wherever you want to fix the fields like from here i have selected this field wherein all the left field will be locked and the top field will be locked so here i have selected this field and go to view and select freeze panes so now you can see that all the top is locked and all the fields which are left side is locked now you can just drag it and you can just make other things to be entered like so in a month we have multiple things as we have discussed in the practical phase like the working days then present day we have noted by letter p then absent days with letter a then leave days with letter l then holidays with letter h then week off with letter w slash o week off so here we'll merge these fields by selecting these two fields and click on merge center button after that you need to click on wrap where all the letters will be visible 
Once this is done, you can just select all the fields and click on border all. We'll just bold it and give some colors to these fields for making it more visible. Okay. Once this is done, you know that the total working days is nothing but total days minus number of week offs. So here the total days are 30 and the week offs are 1, 2, 3, 4. So here you can just mention as 30 minus 4 that is nothing but 26. You can just select it and drag it till end. So once this is done, you need to go to present field here you need to apply some formula to calculate the number of days present in that specific month so here the formula is equal to count if open bracket we need to count all the dates like for selecting the dates we need to click the range from 1 till 30 here you can see that count if the range is selected from F7 to A17. So F7 is first date and A17 is last date of the month November. Then you need to put comma and in punctuation marks you need to put enter P as the letter for present and then close it with punctuation marks then close it with brackets and click on enter. Here you can see that the present days are zero because we haven't entered anything. So when we enter present date days as P then then it will change for example i'll show it to you like in this 30th of september if i have entered p then you can see that the person is present for one day in the same way we need to give the formula for absent equal to count open brackets then range where we need to select the range from first till 30th then comma open bracket open quotation then we need to enter the letter as a and close the punctuation marks then enter then we need to close the bracket then we need to click on enter here we have seen this is for absent then we need to give formula for leave equal to count open bracket range then comma then punctuation mark leave l then close punctuation then close bracket enter then same with holiday count brackets range comma punctuation marks then h letter for holiday then close bracket then enter same with week off count open bracket range then comma open brackets w slash o close bracket close punctuation then close brackets then enter so you might be wondering why didn't i copy and paste here because here when you copy paste the range changes so i don't want to change the range so has entered the formulas for all these fields separately here the range is same but the letters what is selected is different now you need to go to dates for attendance here randomly i will be entering present and absent for all these employees and we need to check it out how this attendance is been calculated so here as all the sundays are week off i'm just selecting and entering week off and you can copy and paste it to for all the fields and the same thing you can do it for all sundays as i entered week off for all the sundays when you drag and check it out at the week off you can see that the week off is four week off has been entered for the employee ramesh account executive four week offs has been entered so the same thing can be copy pasted for all the fields so here you can just copy paste all the formulas for all these fields and check out whether all the attendance is correct or wrong here i'm entering the attendance for sample i'm just entering present for all the employees for first of november then 4th of november i'm just copy paste copying it all the employees as present and paste it here alternatively i'm just entering working days for alternate days for checking out how the attendance is coming then i'm entering absent for couple of employees and leave for few employees and holiday for all the employees h and the rest it will be as present so i'm just copy pasting and entering wherever the entries are not entered and you can just select all the fields and put it as center alignment when all the entries will be centrally aligned when you drag it here and check out you can see that the employees working days are 26 and present days are these numbers and absent days are these and the leaves taken are these and the holidays are one for everybody and week off are four for everybody and you can save the excel field you have created you can name rename the sheet name as november 2024 in the same way you can just create another sheet for december 2024 so in the same excel sheet you can create for all the months for the specific year 
So friends, hope you understood how to create the attendance sheet or register for employees where I have created employees from Ramesh to Raja for about 17 employees where the attendance is taken from 1st November to 30th November with the dates, week offs and how I have calculated the present days, absent days, leaves, holidays and week offs. So in this way, you can create n number of attendance sheets for different months for different employees for different departments. So hope you understood the practical part how to create an employees attendance sheet or register. So friends, hope you understood how to create or generate employee attendance sheet or register for employees for monthly and yearly as well. Maintaining an attendance register is fundamental yet powerful practice for any organization. It ensures accurate record keeping, simplifies payroll processing, supports legal compliance and helps monitor employee performance effectively. By including key components like employee details, daily attendance status, working hours and leave balances, you can create a system that is both organized and efficient. With tools like Excel, setting up and managing an attendance register becomes straightforward and practical. By following these steps discussed in this video, you can streamline your attendance management process and create a more disciplined and productive workplace. So friends, hope you understood in detail about the creation of employee attendance register. If you have any queries or questions related to this video, please do comment in the comment section. I'll be happy enough to answer all the queries. And if you like this video, please do subscribe and share among your friends. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a nice day.